For the first time in over two years, yes, I am doing the impossible. I am going to attempt to rebuild a zero overall NFL team until we win the Super Bowl. If it takes me five seasons, 10 seasons, 15 seasons, five hours, 10 hours, two straight days in real life, I am going to rebuild this team until we become Super Bowl champions. The worst possible team, literally everybody on this team, zero ratings, Across the board, enough of the intro, let's go ahead and get this thing started because I need to get this done so I can get it edited in time before it turns into the year 2021. I mean, obviously, this is not going to be a realistic rebuild because, as you know, I don't think in real life there's any teams out there that's a zero overall. I mean, I guess we used to be able to say the Jets were close to being a zero overall team, but now they beat the Rams, so does that mean the Rams are now the closest there is to a zero overall team? Here we are, dudes. Wish me freaking luck. Hopefully this doesn't take way too long, but it probably will. So as you see, zero overall. Like, what else do you want to see? Across the board, literally every single player on this team is as low as you possibly can be. And I think it's still that glitch, too, to where if you try to upgrade a zero overall player, literally, it yeah, the, the guy thing bucket, the bucket's there, so you can't upgrade a zero overall player. So pretty much what's going to happen is these players, they just gotta go. They gotta end up getting cut from the team and just wish me luck. So we're gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of this season. This might be the biggest mistake of my entire life. But we're gonna rebuild this team through the draft, free agency, trades. I Hopefully it doesn't take way too long. The first time I ever did this, when I came up with this idea like three or four years ago, it took me seven hours, seven in real life hours to get it done. Hopefully it doesn't take that long because I have a lot of stuff I have to do today. Upgrade players. Can I even upgrade players? Well, let me do this. It says all these players have upgrades. 54 players were upgraded, but yeah, like it doesn't actually upgrade them. It says they were, but they weren't. They still stay with their freaking development traits. So we're going to go ahead and simulate to the next week, post-Super Bowl. And as you see, Ravens win. I think, like, it says there's players ready to negotiate, but there's no reason to bring them back. So what we should do is probably just cut everybody on our roster and just start with a freaking complete clean slate. How did we get up to a three overall? How are we a six overall offense? Everybody's still a 12, right? Or maybe what happened, yeah, okay. So we signed our practice squad players. Okay, so that's why we're no longer a 12 overall bet. Yeah, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to cut every single zero overall player off our team so we can start with a brand new clean slate. <laughs> Thank God for Deontay Burnett, Tucker McCann, and Duke Williams. So finally, our final two players I've got to cut. And there's a reason why I'm not cutting the last few players on our roster because as you see, if I cut them, it says we lose like a lot of money. There's a huge player release penalty for these five players. So we'll just keep them on our roster until they just their contract runs out and i don't know why it says zeke's change of direction is 254 because that's just not real like that's just these ratings are not real like that's not their actual rating there's no reason or no way in one season as there's still a 12 overall it went from a zero to 254 catching like that's just not real i think it's probably gonna be a glitch that fix over the next simulation so with that, let's go ahead and advance into free agency, and I need to sign as many players as possible. The only problem is the fact that I don't know how much penalty we're actually are going to be going under, because we had so many players we released, and they all came with a little penalty. Well, how much money do we have? We only have 83 mil. That is so awful. That is so gosh dang awful. It's going to take so long. It is going to take so long to just completely revitalize this roster because of all the freaking cap penalties. Oh no. We have five players on our team and only 83 million cap. Oh my gosh. We have seven. Wait. We have seven, two, oh, two, oh, 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 and cap penalties. That can't be real either. If I clear that. I click clear, although I didn't, like, actually thought it was going to let me, like, say, are you sure, then click it again. Does that help anything? No, we still have only 83 million cap room. Why do we only have that much? Like, I don't even know what to do. The only thing I can think of what to do to fill a freaking roster is to, like, just offer everybody that has zero bids and hopefully get a lot of players for extremely cheap. We still might not have enough to fill the team. 
What happens if we don't have enough players to fill a freaking team? Oh my, this is going to take me so long to do this, but this is what I got myself freaking into. Alright, so I offered like 15 players very, very like... Okay, so I offered like 15 players league minimum deals over 7 years, and I want to see if that works. Like, if I have one player out of all those deals signed, I'm going to go and offer like 50 players league minimum deals. And okay, okay, okay! We get three players! Let's go! Now, how do I have 150 mil in cap room? Where did that come from? 25-year-old grown man, and I swear to you, I just spent the past 30 minutes offering virtual contracts to virtual free agents in a virtual football game. So, I think I offered at least 50 contracts, bare minimum contracts, to as many players as possible. If I can get like 10 people to sign, that'll be a good starting point for this team. As you saw, we already have AJ Green, James White, and Phillip Rivers. Some more out there. Like, if anything, they could end up being trade bait for... Okay, we got some. We got a lot of players. We got a lot of them. Okay, 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 let's go! Alright, did we get Jacoby Brissett accepted? Nelson Aguilar? Solomon Thomas is a big one? Philip Lindsay? Okay, okay, okay! We actually got some decent pieces to begin this team. Now, like, can we see who all we signed? Like, is there any players that didn't show up? Okay, so we got, what, like 15 players? Not a bad start. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and start this NFL draft. Now, obviously, we have the number one pick, but, like, what do I use it on? Like, do we try to get a quarterback? Is there even a, there's not even a quarterback to get. Oh, no, we have to wait till the next draft. That sucks so bad. That is so bad. Like, so what do we even do? Who's the best player we have? Like, what do we, do we go ahead and get a safety? Get a linebacker? Ooh, this is tough. Like, like, why is this corner so high? Early first rounder? Our thing said mid first rounder? Early first rounder for Pat Long? Why is he early first rounder for you? Why do you look so good? Dorian Collins. I like this guy a lot. He's fast for a middle linebacker. Do we go Dorian? This guy looks good too. John Sweeting. This is rough. I kind of want to go. Let's go Pat Long. Please be good. You're going to be a 77 rated with hidden development. Pat Long, you're going to be with us for a long time. <laughs> That's so funny. So we don't have another pick in the second round. Hopefully, we'll be able to trade away a bunch of stuff to get a decent amount of first-round picks from next year's draft. Hopefully, we can get a QB. We're probably still going to have the number one overall pick next year. So here, do we go ahead? That's what I was thinking. Go ahead and get our running back of the future. Juan Reeves or Brandon Wooten? Which one of you? We have him projected as a mid-first-rounder. You're another mid-first-rounder. Who's the faster of the two? 4-4 four, four, flat. 437 with Juan Reeves. He's coming in at a 74 overall. I mean, that's not awful. He might not actually be our running back of the future. But I mean, that's a decent pick nonetheless. So round three, pick one. If we can get anybody really that can start for us, that'll be solid. Like literally anybody is gonna be of use. There's no good okay, there are some good wide receivers. Wow. A bunch of guys that we have as second round talents. Ooh, this could be interesting. So, this guy has the highest combine grade. Ooh, or do we go with this guy, Stanley Medlock? We could use both of them, honestly. This is rough. You know what, Stanley Medlock, you're... Okay, they're all huge. Bro, where did y'all come from? He has A minus... Okay, let's, let's go with Stanley Medlock. Can you be a good player for 71 rated. I mean, that's obviously gonna be solid for us off the get-go. Next user pick... Fourth round selection, as long as we can get seven starters, which obviously isn't like, it's not hard at this point because we hardly have any players on our team. Any other good wide receivers? Okay, we have another one here. Ty Redman, who we could still go ahead and select. He has a late first round grade on him, or late second round grade. He's the strongest wide receiver out there. 21 reps in the bench press, comes in at a 69. Once again, not awful for this point on our team. Moving along, hopefully we at least get like three starters for the duration of the rebuild in this first draft class. Oh, why did we not have another pick in the seventh round? That's so random. But we have one final pick. Can we at least get a starter? We probably don't have anybody else graded on our entire board. That's probably going to be a problem. So what do I even do? Like, what do I pick here? Because I, I don't... Okay, we have some corners graded. Some decent looking corners. 
like Barry Greenberry. <laughs> what a name that is. I mean, we have a six-round grade on him. He's a late fifth rounder. He comes in as a 65 overall for a seventh round selection. I mean, you can't be too mad at that. So, boys, I, I mean, we're so glad have the first pick next year. It's just bound to happen. We literally have 27 players. 27 freaking players on this team. I don't know what to do. I think what I'm going to do is sign a bunch of free agents or at least let the CPU to sign some guys to fill in for depth. But the guys that we currently have... I want to see if we can get some decent first-round picks for him. That's the move. That's what at least I'm going to attempt for the move to be. We have 150 mil in cap room, so as long as we can fill this roster, I mean, we should be able to sign a couple decent free agents this next upcoming offseason that can finally give us some boost. Hopefully win a game or two in the third season. Does anybody want Jacoby Brissett? Okay, the Bears do right off the bat. Oh, I forgot, it's this stupid glitch where like a lot of teams have negative cap room, so trading might be a problem within this franchise. Oh no. This could be a little decent deal for us. We can get the 7th overall projected selection for Bissett, get Zeke, the 12th overall Zeke, off our books. That's worth 13.7 mil. We also have to trade a second, which kind of sucks. Submit this through... Uh, what? Oh, that's so stupid. Below our minimum roster size? Are you serious? Like, let me live my life. You know, we'll actually go ahead and simulate to the regular season. By then, the CPU will do something to make us have a decent-sized roster. So we have 35 players now. Great. Maybe we can just get the Saints' first-round pick. Like, Jacoby Brissett straight up. Decline! But it's close! But it's close! Can we I wish we could throw in Zeke to get his cap off our books. But all we have to do is throw in, like, a seventh-round pick into this deal... And it's declined. We don't want a six. We're going to get a first round pick for Jacoby. Submit this through. Was accepted. The Saints are probably going to be like good this year, but at least we get another first. You know what? Not mad at this. We're trading away AJ Green, who obviously is a long term for us. A fourth and a seventh from next year for a second round selection that was accepted. Pretty good pick. So I think we're also about to get ourselves another first round draft pick. We trade away Taco Charlton, who we did sign. In this last free agency class. Also throw in our 7th from this upcoming year. We're going to get ourselves... It went down, actually. Why did that go down? I mean, that doesn't even make sense. 5th round selection. A 7th to 7th. Thrown in. There it is. Accepted. That's our 3rd or 4th first round selection. Which is pretty huge. Now the problem is... I don't think there's anybody else like available. Now the problem is... I don't think there's any other position anybody wants. Like I just don't think that's a thing. What I could do, though... Is try to shed some of this dead cap that, like, Zeke. We don't need Zeke. There's a few more players, too, that we could add on to this. Like, uh, Trevon Diggs is somebody that we could maybe add. Oh, Amari Cooper, 22 mil in cap room? Can anybody afford this? The Bengals can. Okay, I'll take that. If we just, like, I'll take, like, a stinky little draft pick. We'll trade our seventh from this year. To get the Bengals seventh from next year. And I think this should be accepted. That's what, 40 mil almost? We get rid of, hits accepted. I'm so sorry, Bengals. All right, I don't know what else to do, to be completely honest. We might as well just go ahead and simulate to the Super Bowl. And we're going to, like, inevitably, probably once again, win zero games. If we win a game, I'll be shocked. We actually made improvement. We won two games, to be fair. It is in the NFC East, so I don't necessarily know if you like consider those real wins, but they're real wins. Once again, we get the first overall pick. Let's go ahead and simulate Super Bowl 56. See who comes out as the Falcons and Patriots again. The Patriots win 24-21. They are probably losing 21-3 at halftime. The Patriots came back. Now, players ready to like renegotiate. Is there anybody I even want to come back? Like none of these guys, like I don't care. Like, I don't care about you. Maybe these two guys, because they're young and like we need depth. Matt Gay, I mean, he's a legend. So let's just see if we can bring him back for relatively cheap. All right, every single one of them's coming back that we want. Let's go. These guys, I could care less. Oh, uh, Deion Buchanan, we could use some middle linebackers. So what about a four year deal for Deion Buchanan? He doesn't want to. All right. Now, what big players can we actually sign out of free agency this year around? We have 144 mil available. There's our first player that we're going to sign. Jair Alexander, 
We'll give you five years. Bump this up a little bit. I mean, that's a player you don't see come around too often. Like, I'll offer him, give me a seven-year deal. A seven-year, oh, that's a lot. But you know what, we'll offer it anyway. Seven years, hopefully nobody overtakes us. We're going to get some other big players in too. J.J. Watt, he's just going to regress though is the only problem. So we're probably not going to get him. We do need a franchise left tackle. Orlando Brown, we'll throw everything at him possible. Bump this up quite a bit. We have all the cap rooms. Like, it doesn't really matter. Throw this in there. Oh, we're in second? Oh, God. How much, who's the football team? We can't have him go like in our division and not to us. That's a lot of money, and we're still behind the football team. Like what? Why? Like what are they giving you that we're not? Submit that through. Okay, we overtook him, but he'll probably still not sign with us. Justin Reed. Okay, we have Long, so we don't need Reed. Harold Landry, though, we could grab him up. We probably don't need to spend way too much money. Do I need money for later in my life? Okay, we get we can get Harold Baker. We I want to draft a quarterback. That's the problem. I want to draft a QB. Dallas Goddard. Richard Sherman. Is there anybody that, like, tickles my fancy? <laughs> hey, Vontae Maddox, he's 83 rated. Imagine him and Jair Alexander. They could lock down our secondary for the rest of our life. Ooh, Ochina Nwosu. Do we just throw something out there for him? Do we just try this, submit this through? We Okay, we're probably not going to get him. That's a little unfortunate. Now, we probably do need to try and get a tight end. David Njoku, nobody's bid for him. We might be able to get away with a little low ball offer. Like, nothing too crazy. You know, four mil cap hit. We Oh, we could use Deshaun Elliott. Let's just give him a little six-year deal. I'll give him a, He'll be here for a long time. Up that a little bit. I mean, this team could be good. Like, like as soon as next year, our depth kind of sucks. So, we definitely need a right tackle. We have Lyle Collins. He's a 12 overall for us. So bump this up a little bit. Brian O'Neill, we could use you here. So is there any wide receivers we could add that could be solid? Uh, Steven Sims, I mean, we could just offer him like a straight up like four-year deal, kind of what he's looking for. We probably don't need to do anything else. We're down to 50 mil already. We already have some okay wide receivers. We offered David Njoku. Offensive, we have two offensive linemen that we offered. You know, defensive ends, we offer a couple, couple linebackers. We have no middle linebackers, so that could be a problem. You normally need a middle linebacker to be successful. We'll throw you a five-year deal out there. Alex ends alone. Anybody else outside linebacker? We offered Harold Landry. We had offered two big cornerbacks. Free safety, we offered one. Strong safety. Oh, Justin. Oh, we already have Mr. Long, who's going to be here probably for the duration of the rebuild, hopefully. Let's go ahead and advance into stage two. Hopefully, get a couple. Alexander accepted. Mosu didn't. Elliot did. Steven Sims did. The other corner did. Okay. Orlando Brown did. And this is kind of unfortunate, but we got a ton of huge players right there. So this team already is looking pretty freaking solid. Now, what I am going to do is we have 74 mil in cap. JJ White doesn't have an offer. We probably honestly could get him for so cheap. I'm not going to give him a bare minimum deal, but I, I'm going to get a deal that's definitely cheaper than what a J.J. Watt should be accepting. We'll give him a, a $1 million sign-in bonus. A seven-year deal. You can stay here until you're 40 if you want to. Ronald Jones, why are you still available, you weirdo? You're only 25. You're going to be good for so long. So we'll put a, a few like a few funky deals out there, and if we get at least one player, like that will be good. All right, offered a few more contracts. I don't expect more than, like, maybe two or three to accept. Okay, Earl Thomas, J.J. Watt accepted, and I think they're the only two. But J.J. Watt being a part of this team is going to be huge. Earl Thomas, I'll probably just trade him. But with that, we have a bunch of first-round selections. Let's go ahead and hopefully get our QB of the future here. Is there even a QB that's good? Is there, like, why do these... Like, draft classes suck so bad. We maybe could get this guy, Ryan Carr, later. But, like, why? When we need a QB, this draft sucks so bad. So, it looks like the best player on the board is an outside linebacker, right in, deep tackle, wide receiver. Oh, this guy looks so good. But we, we need a wide receiver. Like, but we have him as a mid-first rounder. Paul, have him as an early first. Sean, early first. What do we go, Mike. We just got Harold Landry, though. We could use him on the other side. Mike or Paul? Let's just try Paul. 
Let's do Paul. Come on, be good. 77 rated, hidden development, the first player ranked in true value. Doesn't get much better than that. Hopefully that wide receiver is still available at pick number 10 that we have. Come on, come on, still be there. He's not, of course. That kind of sucks. How about Archemius Roberts? We have him as a late first rounder. Alexander Fields, late first rounder. Oh, no. Mid first rounder for Max. Devion. Early first rounder for Devion. Okay. Deontay Metcalf, late first rounder. So Devion Milstead could be good. We're going to select him. He's a 75, normal development, but that's still, we, we can we can use him. I mean, we, we can work him in the system a little bit. So we have this pick, and like two picks later, we have another one. A 62 rated just got selected. Oh, no, a lot of these players suck. All right, Nathan Huff, we have him as an early second rounder. Oh, these are, oh, this is not good. George Middleton, we have him as an early first rounder. Justin Jackson, early first rounder. Hold on. Why are you an early first? Justin Jackson, we're going to draft you. And he's a 75, ranked fourth in true value, hidden development. That, my dudes, is what you call a hidden gem. That just made me so happy. So we have another pick here. Can we get another freaking gem here? Why is there so many good outside linebackers, though? This guy's a mid-first rounder. We have this guy's an early second rounder. Is there anything else? A strong safety is a late first rounder? Middle linebacker, late first. We need a middle linebacker. We don't have any good middle linebackers. Is he tackle, mid first rounder? Oh my. We have so many good players here. Hopefully we can get this deep tackle with our next pick. So I want to get this middle linebacker. It's our number one position to need really right now. Select him. He's a 73 rated with hidden development. Bros, we are making some incredible picks here. All these players we've picked so far is going to be huge for us the entire freaking video for the most part. Hopefully that D-Tackle is still available. Please, please still be available. D-Tackle, he's still here. Isn't he? No, he's not. Oh, no. He's gone. That's sad. I'm sad. What do we do now? Like, uh, we could use some offensive linemen, I guess. Oh, we have a center here. What is he? Late first rounder? This guy is a late first rounder as well? Oh, my. Why are there so many good late picks? I love this. So, we, there's another mid, there's another first rounder. We need we need him early first. He's an early first rounder talent. My head's blocking it. I'm picking you, Derek. Derek Slack, be good. He's 75 rated. Let's go, my dudes. We have two huge middle linebackers now that we can use. I'm so happy. This is our final pick in the draft, though. And that's kind of sucks because there's so many good players. That we are going to have to pass up on. But like what do I do though? Like I'm nervous. I don't know. It's my final pick. God there were so many good players. Oh, this guy too? Late first rounder? But we we can't though. Because we have so many already. So we got to go. We're going to go offensive line. We're going to go with that center. We go with the higher combine grade. But that one guy didn't go to the combine though. Like what do I do? He's higher on the board. Let's get Chet. Chet Robinson. I like that name. Chet BA73 rated with hidden development. Boys, we just got ourselves like, what, 10 starters? That was such a huge draft. I wish we still had like one more pick though. But you know what? I'll take it. Big, big, big draft. Like our only problem is we don't have a quarterback. Like do I go ahead and just like trade for a quarterback? Because we already have a talented team to be completely honest that's an extremely talented team 80 rated who's our quarterback who are you is it, so, is it philip rivers we don't have a quarterback so that could be a problem that could be a, a really big problem did philip rivers die or something is there even a free agent that i could sign to at least play quarterback for right now ronald jones i'm i don't care i'm signing you to the team why are you a free agent like i, I don't get that like why did nobody sign him now, who's the best free agent out there is the for the, at the quarterback position? Because we, we need somebody. Robert Griffin, that is just not what you like to see. So we got to sign RG3. But the question is, what do I do? Do I go ahead and try to trade for somebody and maybe draft another one this year? But uh, that's tough. That's tough. We'll make some deals here. We'll make some deals. Well, my dudes, we are about to get ourselves. What will it... Well, my dudes, it look. Well, my dudes, it does look like we are about to get ourselves what looks like will be 
the second overall selection projected in the upcoming draft. So we have a fullback. We don't have a fullback. We'll just throw in a little fifth round selection from this year. And with that, it's it's not acceptable. How about that fourth? How about that fourth round selection? Submit it through. Boom. Accepted. Earl Thomas gone. James White gone. Fourth round pick gone. Hopefully that will be our future QB because we don't have one right now. We don't have anybody but RG freaking three. Bros! What are you doing, Green Bay? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and be happy. Uh, Jordan Love, we got for Josh Reynolds. I don't know what just happened, but we got him. I also traded away the zero overall CD Lamb, which took about three million off our cap. So we have so many young wide receivers. I didn't care about trading Josh Reynolds. But we got Jordan Love, so we can start him. If we don't have a good year and there's, like, a good QB we can draft, I'll draft him. But, like, if Jordan Love's the QB of the future for us, I mean, that that's definitely a real possibility. Like, that, honestly, that could not have gone any better. Can't be too mad at this. We have a bunch of, like, young wide receivers that are, like, the 70, 71 range. So it doesn't, like, hurt to get rid of one of them to pick up a third-round pick. Had to throw in a six as well. We'll take that third-rounder. We get, I think, one final first-round pick. The other kind of man wide receiver, Burgess, we traded him away. Our third, and then the legend, Barry Greenberry, had to get rid of him. But we already had some good corners. So we'll take having, what, another four first-round selections this year? I think we actually get one final one. The ninth projected overall selection from the Broncos, William Golston. A second from this year, fifth from next year. I actually said that backwards, but you get the point. A few draft picks. For what could potentially be a top 10 pick. I think that's it. But I think we just did some great freaking business there. Can't be mad at this one. That's like 15 mil we just got off our cap right there. We also get a fourth. I think those are the last two zero overall players that we had to get rid of off of our roster. Now from here, it's just all about finally winning that Super Bowl. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm a legend. I just got Chick-fil-A. It's early in the morning. 9 o'clock. And we've already brought a zero overall team to the playoffs in less than three seasons. So, it's not even three seasons. That's two, I think. Bro, did we get a first round bye? We didn't get a first round bye, but we got a number two seed. This, what if we actually do it this freaking early? If we do it this early, right then and there, I'm sorry, Bingle, but I'm the rebuild king. Okay, that's a lie. Bingle is, but you, you get the point. Wow. How did we do this? So, Pat Long, oh man, he's up to an 84 overall now. So, we obviously won the division. Now, did we, who had the best record in the league? The Packers at 14-2. We're going to have to beat them. But, I mean, it's possible. I mean, anything's possible. Now, statistically, how did we do? 29th offense in the league. How did that happen? How did we do so well with the 29th offense? Our defense was balling. What a weird year. Pat Mahomes wins the MVP. No crazy names up there, I wouldn't say. Maybe you know, Nick Foles kind of up there in the MVP race. Wow. Why was our offense so bad? Jordan Love kind of stinky. Ronald Jones' running game was really non-existent. Gets in the football. Maybe we just need to get better wide receivers. If we could get better wide receivers, bro, our defense is locked down. If we could get some better wide receivers, we could actually do this thing ASAP. Now, we're going to go ahead. Same with the Super Bowl. I don't expect to be there. And we aren't. When did we lose? We lost. Oh, no. We're so close already. Bro, in the NFC Championship game, we lost by 10. Oh, my. So, before, when the last time I did this, it took us six hours. It might take me less than two this time. We're, all, we're an hour and 20 minutes in now. They ended up losing. But I'm so happy. Now, who do I want to bring back? Like, nobody, really. Oh, yeah, I do. Ronald Jones, we've got to bring you back. You're an 87 rated. You're only 26. I hope he comes back. It's not a big cap hit at all. He's coming back. Let's go, Ronald. Now, if we can use free agency here, make this team even better, we could compete next season. Now, oh, we could have waited and got Cream Hunt. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. David DeCastro is a little bit too old for my liking. We need to get some of these wide receivers. What about QBs? We're going to keep Jordan Love, I think. He's 78 rated, bro. Like, why not? Running back, we're gonna we're gonna stick with Ronald. Wide receiver, we've got to get some better wide receivers. We've got to. We definitely got to. So Deontay Johnson, he's gonna be somebody we try to target. I just saw the number one team targeting him is the Packers. They already beat us in the NFC side of things. 
We've got to get him. We're way ahead of the Packers. Do I even try to get Nikhil Harry? Like, is that a thing? Do I try it out or do I let the young rookie progress? We'll let the rookie progress. Tight end, we're fine. We have David Njoku and Jared Cook here. Offensive line is something that we do need to improve. But, like, how do I improve it? Like, what positions do we need to improve specifically? Right guard, right tackle's okay. Or do we just try to get David DeCastro and just go all out this season? How much is he going to cost is the question. We have a little two-year deal, so he's not going to kill us all the way, like, through a, a huge contract, long contract. We are, oh, man, they're offering him a ton of cash. Let's go up to, like, 12 mil. That's a lot of money, but it's worth it if we can go ahead and do this thing in year number four, I think. We're still behind. Like, how is that even a thing? Bro, how much money did you give him? $20 million in one year? There's just no way. We barely overtook there. So is there anywhere else we can improve through free agency here? Like, Sheldon Richardson, he's not worth it. He's 32. He's just going to, like, continue to, like, regress. Right in. We're okay. We got that young buck. I'm the outside linebacker position. We probably can play the, one of the middle linebackers at outside linebacker. Why don't we do that? And the Jackson guy, he's star development. Why don't we have him start left outside linebacker? I'm stupid. Like, what am I doing? So free safety, we're okay. Strong safety, we got Mr. Long. Bros, I'm telling you, man, we're going to do this dang thing. Oh, no. Deontay accepted, so that's solid. But David DeCastro, he rejected. That's not good. I offer James Robinson a contract. Like, why is nobody offering James Robinson? He's 85 overall. And he's only 25. Like, what are y'all doing? Let him come to Papa. Any free agent that can really help us out on offensive line now? Like, not really. Like, maybe we can offer this guy, Lakin Tomlinson. But is he really going to help us out? And always only 79 rated. He's 31. Offer him this. And, oh, no, we're in fifth place? Like, that's just, he's too much. You know what? We'll try to build the offensive line through the draft. Is anybody good? All right, we need to build the offensive line. Maybe even draft a QB that could potentially be better than Jordan Love. I don't know. We'll start drafting. Do we have the first pick? What do we have? No, we don't. Oh, no. Pause. Pause this draft now. Who's the first pick? There's still no good QBs. What is the problem? So, like, I don't care. I really don't care who goes where. So, like, I'll just get the best available, really. I mean, we do need to get an offensive lineman. So, next user pick, who do we get here? So, a, a 71 offensive lineman just went, so I really don't care about that. Is there anybody, like, any offensive lineman worth picking right now? No. Definitely no. So we already have a good, like, center. So, ah, do we trade down? Like, what do I do? We already have some good defensive ends. We could use a better D tackle, but are any of these guys early first rounder? He's a mid first rounder. This guy's an early first rounder, Terrence Black. Do I pick you? Let's pick him. We need a D tackle, youngster. 76 rated. I mean, we probably reached. We definitely reached, but I can't be mad at it. So, next pick, what are we going to grab here? Oh, Grant Cooks looks really good. Do we trade down for the first time ever? Like, I don't know what else to do. We already have good players everywhere. Unless we get. A free safety, maybe like a tight end, a wide receiver, but like we already, we do need better wide receivers, so that's, that's true. Early first rounder for you, Jonathan Lewis, early first rounder for you, mid first rounder, about Dylan Boyd, late first rounder, oh no, like is it worth it here? Is this really worth it? That's the question. Jonathan Lewis, he's fast. We're going to draft him. We're going to draft him. 77 rated. He's the number one true value. God, this draft class sucked. I mean, I can't be mad at that, obviously, but I just wish this draft class would have been a little bit better. But whatever, we won't complain that much. I might complain a little bit, but not that much. So pick player here. What do we even get? Like, what do I, what do I need? Like, is there any offensive lineman right now? Like, there's nobody really, unless I get the center again. But like, this center, he's projected mid-first rounder. But... Right guard, what are you? Early second rounder? Maybe I pick him with my next pick. But this guy, Greg Anderson. Early first rounder? Like, maybe he could... Uh, all these things are blocking, like, blocked by my head. Greg Anderson. It says he's an early first rounder. He could end up replacing J.J. Watt when he retires. Greg, he's a 76? I mean, this draft class sucks. 
How is he the fourth ranked player to 76 overall? That's sad. And he's normal development too, which is the worst thing about it all. A 60 rated just got drafted in the first round, so at least we're not them. Do I take that center? He's still available. He could play right guard for us, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't suck. He isn't bad, but every single player has normal development. Why? That's so stinky, dude. Like, every player we drafted is probably going to play for us, but we could, it could have been, like, so much better, to be completely honest. Like, what do we do here? I, I really don't... Oh, this guy. Rashad Daniels. Late first rounder. This guy is a late first rounder. And maybe I shouldn't use my pick on that wide receiver. There's got to be some deal here. Like, there's got to be somebody falling through the cracks. Garrison Lawry. I said I wanted you. He's an early first rounder. He's a 70 rated. At least somebody's got some hidden development. Okay, okay. All right, next. We have, I think this is our final pick in this draft, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I have one more. I need this to go by fast because I've got to go poop. All right, what do we do here? QB, there's like, why is there no QBs ever? So there's no good wide receivers. We go on the defensive side of things. John? John. There's a bunch of good Johns. No linebacker, we don't need one of those. Corner, free safety, strong safety. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Do I just go lineman again? I can't go lineman. Like, why would I go lineman? But I don't know where to go. I don't know what position to pick. Like, do I just go deep tackle again? Because, like, the best, maybe trade them away if they don't, or they're not good. Mid first, second rounder. This guy's a late second rounder. Now, the other John. John is another late second rounder. So, what do we go with the mid? This guy right here, Bobby Hillhouse. What a name. 70 rated. I mean, somebody might want you. I think we have. This has got to be the next pick, right? Or our last pick. 18th selection in the fourth round. Then we have a seventh round pick. What the heck? Like, what do we do with this? I know I could trade it away, but, like, I'm not. It's like, that's not worth it, really. Michael Hill. You're a mid third rounder. But, like, are you worth my time? So. Uh, like, what do I, I don't know what to pick. Like, do I just go random here? Or do I just take another D-tackle? No, one of the guys are, are good, and I can just trade them for something? Or do I get this guy, Deontay Hilton? I'm going to draft you. Hope I can trade you. You're 70. I'm probably just going to trade these rookies that aren't going to play for me and hopefully get something that we need. Like, maybe just get some old offensive linemen to hopefully help us to win a Super Bowl ASAP. So, our final pick, this is definitely the last one, seventh round, first selection, Come on, give me something awesome. But, like, the question, do I even have anybody scouted? It's like, what do I, do I just pick at random here? Why is there a guy projected to go in the first round that still hasn't been drafted yet? Earl Curtis, he looks decent. But, like, that's literally the last guy in my entire board. Where do I go with that? I'm not going to go with that deep tackle because he's like, or whatever position it was. I already forgot. Who am I supposed to get here? He tackle right in. Where is it? An offensive lineman, Earl. Earl, you're mid six rounder. Be at least a 65. All right, bet. Good job, Earl. Okay, so we got ourselves a decent young offensive lineman. Unfortunately, none of the guys that we drafted, nobody wants them. So that's just never a good thing. We get ourselves a good offensive lineman, Ruiz, 80 rated, right guard for a backup free safety and a second round draft pick from the next season. So as mentioned, we have a ridiculous amount of wide receivers that are anywhere from like 76, 77, 78. So we got rid of one, free up playing time for the others. Also shipped to six and a cornerback for a first round selection from the Jets for this upcoming season, which pretty much means it's the Jets. So we'll probably get the number one overall pick. You can always count on the New England Patriots. Hopefully this will be enough. Declined. Added one more little crappy player here. We got a 61 rated Deion McGriff. Is this enough? Probably not. He's too low rated. Yeah, went down. All we need to throw in, like, what? A 60-something rated cornerback? Like, a 65 Larry? Submit this through. Let's welcome Shaq Mason to the Dallas Cowboys. Going to convert him to left tackle. And we should be solid to play this next season. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this could be the year. Send me to the playoffs. We're an 85 overall team now. 85 offense, 87 defense. We at least got to make the playoffs again. We did, but somehow we played worse than we did last year. Went 10 and 6 on the season. We're up to an 88 offense, 89 defense, 88 overall team. What do we end up with? Probably like, what, the 5 seed this year? I mean, how did we do worse? We end up with the 3 seed. So, I mean, I guess, I guess it could be worse. Now, let's see, hopefully at least like statistically, like our offense and defense improve. Our, why is our offense so bad? 24th ranked offense, 
and defensively six ranked defense we have anybody up there yearly awards cam newton always wins the mvp jacoby Brissett on the saints comes in third we have will george in 10th now boys let me just go ahead and just get my disappointment out of the way it's just probably gonna take a few more years gonna go ahead we have some players we can upgrade though Couple Harold Landry's up to a 90 rated now. Let's go, dudes. But even if we don't make the playoffs here, like or we make it Super Bowl, we have so much money left to spend on some of the upcoming free agents that I, I feel like we, we still have a chance we lost. Of course we did. The first game, the first goddamn game. What's so bad with our offense? Jags win the Super Bowl 30 to 24. What players do I need to renegotiate my contracts with? Shaq Mason, we need to bring back. Oh, Jordan Love we need to bring back, too. Oh, that's going to be a big chunk of cash, huh? Those are the only three players, though, but we need to bring back Jordan Love first. He's 80 rated. That's so much money. That is so much money. But, I mean, we got to, right? He's 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 going to be our QB of the future. He's only 25. He's going to get a little bit better. He's coming back. Ruiz, we need you for the future, too. Give you a five-year deal. Bump it up a little bit. Bump that signing bonus up a little bit. Thank you. Last but not least, Shaq Mason. Ooh, ooh. What's that about a five-year deal? We actually won't have that much money. Oh, no. Okay, he's not coming back. I, you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I'm kind of mad at the fact that we don't have that much money. I thought we were going to be able to sign whoever we wanted to at a free agency. That Jordan Love deal really did hurt, didn't it? Sign free agents. What do we do with 27 mil? Like, what can I do with this? Fletcher Cox? Stephon Gilmore? Just old guys. Oh, Justin Herbert? Ah! I would have loved to bring you in. Ooh, that kind of, I wish I would have known. But how was I supposed to know? There's no way, right? Aaron Rodgers? Oh, do I just try this? Could I try? Like, do I even have enough money? What is this going to say? I'm going to, oh, what if I put every dime I had into him? And then I trade away Jordan Love for somebody insane. Let's give you everything I have. But I don't think that's a lot. Let's submit this through. I don't. How do I not have the salary cap? It literally says I do. What does that even mean? Dog, what does that mean? How do I not have the salary cap? What does that freaking mean? I'm so confused. How do I not have the salary cap? It literally says I have 1.9 million cap room. What are you trying to do to me, EA Sports? Oh, that's so stupid. So that sucks. What do you want me to do? No, I can't even offer Fletcher Cox. That kind of really did screw us over. But do I just try and sign Stephon Gilmore too? Like, why not? Give him a little two-year deal. Two-year deal action. Bump it up a little bit. We'll have three lockdown corners. Oh, wow. We're way behind. But imagine this team with that many solid cornerbacks. Just a little two-year deal. We're still in fourth place. How much do you get to a 33-year-old man? This guy's a grandfather at this point. Why are you giving him so much money? We're only going to have like 9 million cap left. We're still in second. My God, dog. What are you trying to do, Indianapolis? That's got to be enough, right? Got to be. Okay, we overtook him now. But I'm kind of sad, though. We're still going to need a left tackle. Uh, hopefully we can draft one. Please, Stephon Gilmore, let free agency be some bit decent here. He accepted. Okay, okay, okay. Big decision. Fifth year options. Oh, we're getting to the point where we have to do fifth-year options. Ah, that's, oh, we're getting to the point where that's not good because we have to start paying our rookies a lot of money. They're on rookie deals. Oh, gosh, this is about to be freaking stressful. Hopefully, we can get this done while the freaking window is open because if we can't win the Super Bowl in the next two years, it might be a GG. What do we even do here? We have the seventh pick. Is there even a quarterback? Like, is there a QB available? There finally is, eight years in. But, like, I can't get one. I have Jordan Love. I can trade Jordan Love. Ooh, he's an 80 rated. Do I try and trade up and get one of these quarterbacks so we get all that Jordan Love money off our books? That could be the move. Oh, but how do we do this? Does it let us trade with the Lions? That could be the move. Oh, man. Our first round selection, the Lions first round selection. That actually, what if they did that? What would it take though? So do we have, you have anything like that we have that you want from us? Bobby, you, you don't, why don't you want Bob? Solomon Thomas, 
don't want Solomon. Why don't you, like that's your one of your biggest positions of need? Like, what are you doing? Trail Basham? Oh, come on, you're making this stressful. Deontay Hilton? Like, why are those your position of need? If you're not gonna take anybody at those positions, like what does that mean? Right tackle. We're not gonna trade him away. So it's probably gonna be a, a couple. It's gonna be a couple draft picks on about a third. Third in my first. What does that's just not good, huh? Two first rounds. Oh no. What if I just traded Jordan Love straight up? Like at this point, can I even like without even? Do I do this? Is it for the betterment of the franchise? Because that's so much money we could use elsewhere. That this is a big decision. How about a third instead of we can keep our first? It's declined again, but this is this could be a freaking risky move. Declined? Why? Why was that declined? I'm that was that was definitely accepted. Would it cause the Cowboys to exceed the league salary cap? What does that mean? What does that actually mean? Dude, I clearly have 32 million cap room. How will this trade make me exceed the cap? That's so dumb. Oh, I swear, this game is getting on my last freaking nerve. Uh, we're just not going to be able to get the QB, are we? Oh, they're trying to make this difficult on us. They really are. They really freaking are. Go ahead and get rid of the two quarterbacks. Just get rid of them. I don't even want to know what their overall were. Hopefully there was one left. Okay, there is one. Bro, did they, they not even take a quarterback? What the heck? All right, Eric Montagu, improviser. So he does. He, he runs around cones fast. This guy looks like an absolute monster. He's a late first rounder. This guy says late first rounder too. So, like, are they even worth taking? I want Conrad. And then I can maybe trade Jordan Love later? Conrad good? Conrad's not that good. Conrad does not look like a, a future Hall of Famer. Oh, I think we might have just made ourselves a mistake. Why are there like why are there never any good offensive linemen? Charlie Britt? Like he's not even good. Why did I even pick him? This has been a stinker. This has been a massive stinker. Matt Smith looks good. But one of these guys, they look really good too. Early second. Okay, this guy looks like the best. Kerry Middleton. Select him. 71 rated. What do you know? Another 70 rated defensive tackle to add to the board. Oh, another 70 rated middle linebacker. Jesus. Hopefully they can like end up one day being something I can trade away. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to play this one year out. 87 overall, 85 offense, 91 defense. Hopefully Jordan Love can progress, but if his offense is still stinky, I'm just going to trade him away if it lets me, and then let that first-round pick, like the seventh overall selection, end up playing, and hopefully he can get good and save us some money. Bros, we are going for this thing this year. I think I can get this accepted. 98-rated Chris Jones is going to take my first from this year, isn't it? A first from this year. Submit this through. It's so close. If we go ahead and throw in our second from this year, ah, oh, it's so close. No, 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 no. We're gonna get this accepted 100%. I just gotta, I gotta, just give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, baby, I forgot. I forgot they needed you. We no longer need you because we have, we have the man. We have Stefan Gilmore that we signed. Chris Jones, submit this through. Oh, baby, I don't even think it's gonna have to take that first round pick. We could throw in this third to be accepted, right? It's except to Chris Jones. We are going for this thing this year, my dudes. We are going for this thing this year. Our defense is insane. 93 rated. This has got to be the year. How? 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 91. 91. We went 7 and 9. This game is so stupid. We, we went 7 and 9, and there's no team in the league even close to as good as we are. I hate this game. 21st offense. What about the defense? Defense, what, I don't, what would we do? What we do wrong? I swear, dude, this game is so stupid. It's so stupid. We know the Ravens win for the 800th freaking time, dude. So how are we going to get these guys back? Like, who can we, is our strong safety? I thought our strong safety. 
I thought we had to. Oh, we had to re-sign him. And this running back, like, does he even like? What does he want? We don't need Lakin back. So, oh, we don't have hardly any cap, dude. Hopefully, he'll take this offer to be our backup running back. He's staying, but like, I can't offer any of these guys to come back. We have like no cash at all. No freaking cash. 7.4 mil. We could get DeAndre Hopkins if we wanted to. Oh, no. There's like nobody else, though, that I really care about. But still, I, I we hopefully draft well. Because if we don't draft well, we're gonna have we're not gonna be able to afford like our players that were draft picks to re-sign them. So that could end up being a massive freaking problem. Maybe we get rid of Jordan Love. Maybe he's the problem. I just dropped a chicken nugget on the ground, so that's always good. But we have a pick here in twelve picks. Well, this is like our only good pick of the entire draft, too. We have a fourth round pick, and that's it. Like, what do I take here? We we'll take a strong safety just in case he's a mid first rounder. What about early first rounder left in? I mean, JJ Watt is going to start to regress a lot. Isaiah Faulkner, he's our early first rounder, too. I guess we go him. He's going to be a 76. But why does he have. They all have normal. Oh, what do you know? They're 69 rated defensive tackle, bro. We've just now eclipsed the two hour mark. And we haven't even made it like anywhere close to what we got in our second freaking season. I'm really thinking about getting rid of Jordan Love. Like, is that the move? He's so expensive, and we have only been doing worse with him at quarterback. He's worth so much freaking money, too. Like, if we could get just anything that could really help us out, offensive line would be huge. But, like, at what cost? At what freaking cost? Draft picks? Like, do we just go all out? Do we go all out this season? Our biggest needs are freaking offensive line. Like, do we try to decline? Can we get a good, solid offensive lineman that can be our freaking anchor for the rest of this series? For the rest of this freaking rebuild? <sighs> oh, I didn't even think about you. What does it take to get you? A third? Quentin Nelson, 99 rated. It was declined. Bro, do we keep him? We have so many thirds. Why don't we have so many third round picks? So uh, we don't have to use a third. We can just use like a, a sixth. Submit this through. Quentin Nelson, welcome to the team. But dudes, if we don't win it this year, we legitimately could be absolutely just ruined. We could be freaking ruined because we have no more cap after this. We'll give Jordan Love one more year. I'll try. I don't think that we we have the we don't like I don't think we have the cap to be completely honest to get anybody else. So I think we're stuck at this. But we got our biggest position of need, which is left tackle. I just now realized that JJ Watt retired. So that could be a big freaking problem. Anybody else retire? <laughs> we have three cornerbacks, so that also could be a big problem. But I guess one of these guys could play left end. I guess I could still try and find somebody to play left end, trade for somebody that's solid. But I don't think we can, though. We don't hardly have any money. But I'll try to work something out because this has got to be the year. I'm going all out. What the? Hold on. Why is he a bad value for draft pick? I would have never traded Deontay Johnson for him if I knew that he was at one star. But I'll take it. I was just trying to sh like see and test the waters. I'm trying to find a good defensive end, and we got Sweeting. Heck yeah. So, I mean, that's a good replacement. But if we don't win it this year, we could be massively screwed moving forward. 91 team, 89 offense, 95 defense. I don't know what else I can possibly freaking do to make this team any better. Like, we've gone from a zero overall team to a 91. If this was base Madden, I think the Chiefs are the highest rated at an 86 or 87. To give you context of how good a 91 overall team actually is. And we didn't make the playoffs last year, which means this year we got to go 16-0 to make up for that. Please, please, please. Okay, we made the wild card. How did we... Oh, okay, I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain. Not going to complain. We made the playoffs. We can upgrade some players here. A couple players can upgrade. But there's just no way. There's no freaking way at a 93 overall... With a 91 offense, 
96 defense, bro, that we, we don't make a run at least. Please, don't. Uh, this, I've never made a team this high overall. How did we lose six games? Anyways, looks like the Patriots were relocating. But how'd the team do this year round? 13th in the league on offense. Defensively, we end up 16th. So it's basically just about freaking average. Cam Newton always wins the MVP for some reason. Some random folks up there. But guys, please. I beg, I beg, I beg. Let's just not go out in the first round. Like, that would be awesome. And it looks like... We didn't go out in the first round. We did not go in the first round, but we have to take on the 12-4 and four Panthers. Dude, didn't they win the Super Bowl last year? We have some upgrades. We have one player, Deshaun Elliott. He's been on the team for a long time now, so kudos to you for sticking around and being a solid player. Come on. Conference championship game for the first time. Oh, no way. No way. This team, the freaking football team, bro, there's just there's no shot. Like, who do they even have that can beat us? You see, we only have three 99 overall players. The football team that had a better record than us in the regular season, they have, you know, Chase Young, Terry McLaurin, but that's really it. They have Baker at quarterback. We are not losing to Baker Mayfield. I'm just rolling through this sim for the first time. Today's rebuild. We're going to take a zero overall team to the Super Bowl. No questions asked. 100%. Mic drop. We got the dog barely. Just barely. 28 to 21. And oh no, speaking of Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, at least we got a couple upgrades. That backup quarterback that hopefully would not have to be our future QB because that means we win this Super Bowl. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. You know what? You know what? You know what? Wait, helpful player upgrade is Deb trait? Is this Jordan Love? No, 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 no. We're not worried about his Deb trait. We're not going to worry about it. He has to get a lot of stuff, but, but, it doesn't matter because it's going to all end here. We're jumping in, we're going to watch the simulation from here, and I'm going to be so goddamn nervous. We're a 93 overall versus an 86. There's just no way. There's just no goddamn way. I'm so nervous, I'm not going to lie. Super simming this thing to the end of the game. For a zero overall team. We have a 7 to nothing lead. They tie it up. They missed the extra point. It's 10-6. to six. It's 10-9. to nine. We're winning by two possessions. We are winning by 11. Uh-oh, they're going to score. They're not. Come on. I'm, I'm scared. Okay, they're going to win. They're, we're going to lose. Yeah, we, we, we lose. No. I, why, why is this happening? Why is this? What just happened? What just happened so much just happened so much just happened. I thought we lost. I was sitting there. Just in my brain, well, I've been on this for two hours and 45 minutes, and I thought for sure that was going to turn into three hours, three hours, 30 minutes, four hours, five hours, but guys, guess what? It didn't quite take the six hours that it did the first time we ever did this zero overall rebuild challenge in two hours and 45 minutes in real time. I think in six seasons in the rebuild itself, we bring a zero overall team to a Super Bowl, and not only do we take them to a Super Bowl, we win the Super Bowl. Jordan Love, Super Bowl MVP. I don't think he would have got his X Factor because I think he had to have zero interceptions, but if we don't care, it doesn't matter because we did the impossible and brought a zero overall team to hoist that Lombardi trophy. As I end this recording session, I can just say, my dudes, I'm so freaking happy. I was getting so tired.